Hey everyone, welcome to your workout. Now like we do with all of our workouts, we're gonna begin by jumping into a warm up. And for our warm up, we're going to practice the moves that you're gonna do. So we recommend grabbing something light, maybe starting with nothing but your hands, maybe a light backpack, you know, whatever weight you're gonna do. And our first move is going to be an upright row. So again, you'll see us doing this. We're standing, we're holding on to whatever we're, we're using and then we're really picking our elbows up towards the ceiling. And the reminder is that with whatever we're doing, if we're moving too fast for you, pause the video. If you want extra warm-up time, take the extra time, do what you need to do. Our second move is called a bent over row. And you'll see both Mags and I bending over towards the ground, taking that weight and then still pulling our elbows up towards the ceiling, up towards the back wall, really whatever kind of makes sense for you. But the idea is you're pulling whatever weight you have up towards your midsection. And again, the goal here is to kind of get a feel for the exercise, Pay attention to how you're moving, kind of iron out the wrinkles, get ready, you know, so you know that when you're maybe going to add some weight, uh, how it feels. And then your third and final movement is going to be a bicep curl. You may do this with or without weight. The reminder is that if this is your first time or you don't have anything, using your arms just going through the motions absolutely can be a workout. It can get you stronger. Ultimately, we do want to add a little resistance, and so that's where we get creative and the backpack comes in. Now, you'll see at Maggie's feet, there's a kettlebell. At my feet, I have a band. That's where, that's how we choose to add the resistance to most of what we do. But again, a backpack or a grocery bag, a plastic bag, anything that you want to do that you can throw water bottles in, soup cans, <laughs> anything that adds a little bit of weight. Books are another good option. You can do that. All right, let's talk about how this is going to go. We're going to string together three exercises, upright row for 10 seconds. Then you're immediately going to do your bent over row for 20 seconds. Then you're going to do your bicep curls for 30 seconds. All of that adds up to a minute. We're going to go five rounds. If you're ready, we're going to start three, two, one, upright rows for 10 seconds. Now, today is going to feel a little more like cardio. We're not going to have that many breaks. That being said, you do what makes sense for you. Two, one, let's move right to that bent over row. Again, a quick example, no breaks there. We're moving from one exercise right to the other one. The goal is to always look good and feel good, right? That's your highest priority no matter what we're doing, whether it's cardio, strength, or a mix of the two. Three, two, one, add in those bicep curls. You're gonna keep going. Yeah, and these are our three moves. By the time we're done, by the time you've done five rounds, our goal is to have this feel a little, little like exercise for you. Now on our, on our cardio days, which is what this is, right? Where it's not super hard strength, Whenever we lift a little heavier, we build in break times. There's no built-in break time, which means that it kind of evolves into a, a cardio day. It's meant to be a little bit lighter, a little on the easier side. Three, two, one. Let's go back to that upright row. Now that you're in round two, your goal here is to make it feel a little bit better. You ironed out the wrinkles. You know exactly what's coming your way. You got a lot of practice. Three, two, one, bent over row. Again, whatever you're using, backpacks, weights, bands, whatever you want to do. Get comfortable here. Dial it up a little bit. Your form looks and feels a little bit better. Four, three, two, one, and bicep curls now. Go ahead and make that switch. We're not in a hurry. Again, even though it's, we're doing this without a break, the goal is never to move as fast as you can. The goal is always to move with purpose. The goal is always to move with grace. And we always want you aware of where your body is and comfortable with what your body is doing. All over the place, right? Your feet, are they on the ground like you want them to be? Your hips, your knees, your arms, are they doing what you want them to do? Three, two, one. Start of round three, let's get into those upright rows. 10 seconds, this one goes quickly. Three, two, one one bent over row it's a little busy we add some complexity right these cardio days there's a lot going on so we always want you to just again pay attention make sure that you're feeling fairly comfortable with the movements if you're not feel free to pause feel free to rewind feel free to do what you need to do to keep going two one and bicep curls awesome now that we're in round three, the goal is to have this start to feel a little like exercise, a little bit, right? You should, now that you've been doing this for three, two and a half, sorry, almost three minutes, you should be saying to yourself, okay, I'm, I'm feeling it, right? Maybe a little fatigue is building in. If you've got a heavy enough weight, maybe a little burn. You can embrace that. That's totally fine. The goal is to keep moving, look and feel good, be smart about what you're doing. You've got this. Three, two, one. You've got two more rounds to go. Upright row, 10 seconds. 
up, down. And if you only get one or two good ones in, that's cool. Bent over row, let's see that, the next 20 seconds. Now a quick little heads up and kind of a tip. You'll see that Maggie and I routinely will change what we're doing. We'll move around from a backpack to a band to a kettlebell. And the goal for us doing that, why we're doing that, is to show you the different options, what it looks like to move a little differently. Three, two, one, and bicep curls. You absolutely do not have to change it up. In fact, my preference, me personally, I like to find one way and just stick with it. I like, uh, let's say, you know, if I'm doing these band bicep curls. Uh, if I've liked that, I like the ability to get in and practice it a bunch of times, uh, not have to change it up every single time. That's me. I like that kind of consistency. Some people thrive with variety. So again, you choose what works best for you. If you like to change it up, go ahead and change it up. Three, two, one. Last round here, upright row. Your goal is to finish well. It's a quick one. Remember, three, two, one. Let's shift to that bent over row. Think about all your intentions here. Little body check in. Are you moving well? Are you pretty proud of how you're standing, how you're moving here? If so, awesome. Keep it going. Second intention, dial it up a little bit. Can your form look a little bit better than it was the previous round? Two, one, bicep curl. Overall, and third intention is to check in with your intensity. Does it feel like a workout? If it feels easy, it's okay, don't sweat it. The next time you do this video, you'll be prepared. You know maybe you can handle a little bit more. If it's feeling moderate or challenging, chances are you're right in your sweet spot. It does not have to feel like a maximum. And then last of all, finish well. You've got about six more seconds to do that. Four, three, two, one, and done. Nice job. We love these five minute workouts. They are a great either you know, beginning to your workout day. Sometimes it's maybe the only thing you're gonna do and that's awesome. They're also a great middle or an end to your workout. And for some of you, you might be following along a program that we're doing, and, and this is either the beginning, middle, or end of your day. And if that's the case, awesome. We love that you joined us. If this is your first workout, again, we love it. Thank you so much for giving it a try. We hope you keep coming back and trying. You'll find a lot of our workouts are a mix of times, and that's on purpose. We don't ever want you to be locked into just one thing. We love giving you a little variety here. So again, we hope you, uh, hope you had a good time and it felt pretty good. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can find us on Facebook, occasionally on Instagram, or even in the YouTube comments. We're pretty good about answering those. Awesome. All right, well, I had a great time with you. Thanks for the workout. I'm going to let Maggie wrap us up. Y'all have a good day. Well, hey, everyone. Maggie here. Say, we would love for you to subscribe to this channel. We have a lot more workout videos with different focuses and different lengths of time that we would love for you to check out. And if you subscribe, you'll kind of always be in the loop on what we're coming up with. Thanks again for joining us, gang. Make it a great day.